Good afternoon, all. This is Tom here. Um, just doing a little extra work here um, since I've been uh, working from home. And um, this keeps open. And um, I was working up on the third level. Got to fix my uh, doors and my closet in my office. And um, uh, let's just go up to the third level. I've been balancing the track and uh, doing some scenic, uh, little scenic um, ground cover. So let's just go up there. And um, I started balancing all the track up here on the roundhouse and the turntable and uh, I just um, <clears throat> I put an engine on it and it wouldn't run so I tried to clean it and it wouldn't the uh, little scenic, uh, scenic cement when I sprayed that area you know got on the track and I watched a video from Woodland Scenics, and what they do is they just put the ballast <laughs> right down, and then they spray it with this is the Woodland Scenics uh, scenic cement, and then they take their uh, tidy uh, cleaner and clean it. So um, what I did was um, I ordered a Bright Boy um, on Amazon. It's a, a Walters one that's coming today. And then uh, that should clean up the track. And then I'll put on uh, some mineral spirits. And then um, I'll use the no OXID to clean it up. So then <coughs> I started balancing the main lines. And I started right around here. And went around this corner. And then I tested the engine. This here CSX engine. And it, it stalled, and I had to clean it. So all I did was I took my uh, fingernail and ran it on the track and scraped off all the stuff. And then I just took a, the um, woodland scenes tidy thing and cleaned it a little bit. And then it ran through. So I ordered the uh, Bright Boy, so that'll help get all that stuff off. And uh, the mineral spirits will take care of cleaning the track. And uh, the no X OXID will uh, help not have to uh, clean it so often. So I got it ballast all the way down here around this corner. I still got to clean off a lot of stuff, but I just sprayed this earlier today. And I'm all the way up to where the applicator is right there on both sides and I put in some uh, foliage here and grass and all along here and I got all this here section to do and back here. Um, I'm going to take you to my other upper level camera right now. I want to show you something there. Let's get to that takes a minute for it to pop up and get my arrow and as you can see all the trains are here I put the light cover back on the fan finally and this didn't put the blades up there but over here I painted and I spackled that up last night and painted it this morning so you don't even know where it was and I got to get a different color of paint because I thought this was the wall was the same color as the ceiling, but it's not. I got a another drip can of the, the wall paint. And I was I just painted them up. There were spots on the ceiling from when I was trying to find the rafters, so I got to get the same color of paint and just paint them spots over. And as I make my way around, I'll uh, get all this ballast. I got to readjust this road that I put in. Um, it's going to come right along the edge here now. Before it was in between the tracks. 
but when I put this service track in to go through the tunnel there, I had to readjust the tracks and it went right on top of the road, so I had to redo the road. Once I get that done, then I'll put the lines on and uh, that'll be that. So we'll go back to um, this guy here and um, this here is a hairspray bottle and it works really great. I ordered these on Amazon for, hair, for hairspray and it um, just puts out a nice fine mist of the scenic cement and uh, before the bottles that I were getting were either shooting it out in the stream and then all the ballast would shoot all over the place or all the scenery here stuff would be clumped up because it was spread all over. This here thing really makes a difference in the world. So I got two of them and I should be able to finish up all this scenery with uh, just the one as long as I keep on going at it and uh, don't let it set for too long because I think that was what happened. The stuff sets in there and then it gets clumped up and then it won't come out right. And I'm not doing the edges until after I'm done uh, ballasting and getting the track clean. Because when I lean over, um, I kind of have a tendency to tear it up a little bit. So I'm going to uh, leave the edges alone for now until I get it all done. And then after I get all of this done, the trees will be the next thing up there and uh, making some buildings. I've been designing a lot of things and um, I got the files made up but I still haven't printed them yet. I got to get some more rosin to go with that. So that's it for today. Let me get back to myself here. And um, we'll all see you in the next video. And I uh, hope everybody has a happy 4th of July weekend. And um, like I say, we'll see you in the next video. Everybody take care and be safe out there.